Welcome to this video lecture series on transportation engineering. In this session, we shall discuss in the preparation of the master plan by the saturation system of road planning. The saturation system of road planning consists of six steps. The first one is the preparation of the planning, which includes the fact-finding surveys in order to fix the alignment and other details to prepare the drawings. The second step is the plan one or the phase one, which is includes the general area plan with the existing road networks, the topography of the ground, the drainage structures available, then the rivers, the canals, the nalas crossing the roads, the towns and villages with their population, the commercial aspect of the road, then the agricultural and the industrial activities, they are shown in this step two, in the preparation of the phase one drawings. Third is the plan two or the phase two, which shows the distribution of the population groups. Whatever is the proposed road adjoining it, there are n number of villages and towns. This plan shows the distribution of the population in a group, which can be range, say for example, below 500, 501 to 1000, 1000 to 2000, etc. Then plan three is the phase three, which shows the location of the places with their respective quantities of productivity. Next is plan four or phase four, which is the existing road network showing the traffic flows, desired lines obtained from the origin and the destina destination studies of the traffic. The most common example uh, of this plan four can be taken as the Google Maps while using to navigate the roads, which actually shows the current situation of the traffic on the road. Just for an example, if the road is free for traffic movement, then it shows a green line. And if there is congestion of the traffic or a traffic jam, then it shows a red line on the road. So this sorts of planning information is provided by plan four or the phase four. Next is the preparation of the proposals. The proposals received from the different sources by the above study are shown in this plan, which are again studied by a group of experts in order to finalize a particular plan. Next, the master plan. Now, a master plan is a final road development plan for the area under study, which may be a block, a taluka, a district, a state, or a country as a whole. Now, based on the above plans, the different possible networks of the new roads and improvement of some of the existing roads are proposed. And before preparing the master plan, the interpretation of the planning survey shall be done in a scientific way, in which out of the several alternate proposals from the planning service, choose the proposal which actually has the maximum utility. Utility here will be considered per unit length of the road, that means at the per unit length of the road, maximum population should be served. Next, fix up the priority to take up uh, on the phased manner as per the five-year plan or the annual plan. We have to fix up the priority of the finalization of the roads. Third, the traffic study to identify the congestion 
which need to be attended immediately to select the type of the pavement and the control devices. Here the type of pavement that might be in regards with the flexible pavements, the rigid pavements, then again selecting the design width of the pavements and the control devices. Now that might be the traffic signals, then the provision of the speed breakers, the dividers, etc. Next is the comparison on the economic activities of the different areas. What sorts of economic activities are will be served on the proposed plan that will have to compare for the different proposals of the road to reach from a destination A to destination B. And lastly, analyze, analyzing the fact findings for the future trends in the development of an area, the growth in its production and population, which in turn will generate higher traffic volume. One will have to forecast the total growth in the production and population of the area while designing and planning for a proposal of a road to, in order to meet the future requirements. Now, based on the above plan and the scientific interpretation, the master plan is prepared and a road length is fixed, keeping in view the population and production of the different alternatives. In India, the length of the roads is being decided by the Nagpur Road Plan formula for a period of 1943 to 1963 and the second 20 year plan for year 1951 to 1981. And with this information, looking for all the alternatives, the best one under the plan period was selected. The decision has to be balanced and uh, under the uh, concept of the saturation system which was based on the US system of highway planning. Now the saturation system or the maximum utility system. In this system the optimum road length is calculated for the area based on the concept of obtaining the maximum utility per unit length of the road. Hence, this system is called as a saturation system or the maximum utility system. The factors which are taken for obtaining the utility per unit length of the road are first, the population served by the road network and second is the productivity served by the road network. It can be again classified as first the agricultural production and second is the industrial production. The following steps are to be followed to find the road network having maximum utility per unit length by the saturation system. First is the population units. Now since the area under the consideration may consist of villages and towns with their different populations, it is required to group this into some convenient population ranges and to assign them some reasonable values of utility units to each range of the population served. So just for an example, a village having a population range of uh, 1001 and 2000, it may be grouped together and be assigned with one utility unit per village. Similarly, the various villages and towns may be grouped in the different population ranges and be assigned suitable utility units as given below. As you can see, we have the different populations of the villages which are being clubbed together with their utility units. For example, the villages with the population less than 500 will be grouped with the utility unit of 0.25. Villages with the population range of 501 to 1000 with, will be ranged with the, populate, with the utility unit of 0 0.5. 1001 to 2000 utility unit 1 and 2001 to 5000 with the utility unit 
टू ना फ्रॉम द प्लान टू और द फेज टू वी गेट द नंबर ऑफ टाउन एंड विलेजेस विद देयर पॉपुलेशन रेंजेस सर्व बाई ईच रोड सिस्टम एंड देन दे आर कन्वर्टेड इन टू द यूटिलिटी यूनिट सर्व बाय द ईच रोड दस द टोटल नंबर ऑफ यूनिट्स बेस्ड ऑन द पॉपुलेशन कैन बी ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम ईच रोड सिस्टम विच विल बी प्रपोज द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज टू असाइन द अप्रोप्रिएट वैल्यूज ऑफ द यूटिलिटी यूनिट्स पर यूनिट वेट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ वन थाउजेंड टर्म्स ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल प्रोडक्ट्स मे बी कंसिडर्ड इक्वेल टू वन यूनिट एंड द सिमिलरली द इंडस्ट्रियल यूनिट्स मे ऑल्सो बी असाइन विथ सम सुटेबल यूटिलिटी यूनिट्स पर यूनिट वेट एज सीन अर्लियर वी हैव प्रोवाइडेड द यूटिलिटी यूनिट फॉर द पॉपुलेशन विद इट्स रेंजेस सिमिलरली यर द एग्रीकल्चरल प्रोडक्ट्स एंड द इंडस्ट्रियल प्रोडक्ट्स also are to be provided with the utility units however the coal raw material like ores etc they may be assigned certain lower utility unit values than the industrial products the third step is the utility both the uh, utility units for the population and the productivity are added for a road system and then the total unit total utility units is divided by the total length of that road system in order to get the utility rate per unit length of the road now the different road systems having the different layout and different length may show the different utility rate per unit length the road system with the maximum utility rate per unit length is chosen as the final layout with optimum road length based on the maximum utility on the saturation system this will help in choosing the best proposal to face the road development now we shall see an example for the selection of a proposal for a road network depending on the saturation system the statement goes as follows calculate the utility per unit length for each of the systems and indicate which of the plans yield the maximum utility based on the saturation system as you can see from the table we have four proposals p q r and s yes, which serves to the total road length in kilometers as 300 kilometers 400 500 and 550 kilometers respectively the number of villages and towns with the population coming across the villages uh, the proposals p q r and s yes, are as follows 1001 to 2000 that means on the proposal p with the total length of the road as 300 km and the population range of the village or a town within 1001 to 2000 will be 160 numbers similarly for q 200 r 240 and s yes, 248 similarly with will be for the population range of 2001 to 5000 5001 to 10000 and greater than 10000 for proposal p number of villages or towns will be 6 q 8 r 10 and yes 12 on the same proposed road the agricultural or the industrial products in 1000 tons will be 200 for proposal p 270 for proposal q 315 for proposal r and 335 for proposal s yes. now first we'll have to assume the utility units as given below as discussed earlier for a saturation system 
you have to assign certain units utility units in the first case for the population unit now here with the population range of 1001 to 2000 a population unit of 0 0.25 can be assigned for the population range of 2001 to 5000 a utility unit of 0.5 can be assigned and 5001 to 10000 a utility unit of 1 can be assigned population greater than 10000 the population unit will be 2.5 next for the productivity unit for 1000 tons the productivity unit will be assumed as 1 now to solve the problem for the proposal P with the road length as 300 kilometers the population utility unit for the population range of 1001 to 2000 can be found out as 160 into 0 0.25 that equals to 40 as 160 is the total number of groups of villages with this population range of 1001 to 2000 next population range of 2001 to 5000 80 into 0 0.5 that equals to 40 5001 to 10,000 30 into 1 that equals to 30 and with the population range greater than 10,000 that is 6 into 2.5 that equals to 15 if we add all this for the road system P a total of 125 utility units will be obtained similarly we will have to do it for proposal Q proposal R and proposal S as you can see here 125 for proposal P similarly we will have to find it for proposal Q R and S now once it is being obtained next we we'll have to find out the total util utility units for the uh, agriculture and industrial products in thousand tons for proposal P uh, 200,000 tons was the total weight which was assigned and one was the productivity unit so it equals to 200 multiplied by its utility unit divided by 1000 tons so it equals to 200 productivity units so the total utility unit for both the population and productivity will be equals to 125 plus 200 that equals to 325 for proposal P Similarly, can be found out for Q, R and S. So, the utility unit per unit length will be equals to the total utility unit divided by total length of the road that equals to 325 divided by 300 that equals to 1.01. .01. If you see it here, 325 divided by 300 gives the total utility unit per unit length as 1.083. Similar calculations are to be performed for proposal Q, R and S. Now, we get 
the utility units per kilometer for all the proposals P, Q, R and S. Comparing all the values for the utility units per kilometer, they are provided with the priority of first, second, third and fourth. If you compare, P has a total utility unit of 1.083, Q of 1.112, R 1.050 and S as 1.010 if we compare all this q has the first priority p second r third and yes has the fourth priority now based on the financial condition the priority is selected and phased the road development in the master road plan With this, we shall stop in this session. Thank you.